are standing on shoulders to get into this place. Wisconsin will start with the ball, and the much improved Trayvon Jackson going to work for Wisconsin. Here's Sam Decker. Jackson in the corner, reposting to Decker. Decker. And Pittsburgh the rebound. Really good job by Siobhan Shields of walling up on Decker. Now Nebraska with their first offensive possession. 14-1 and one at home, and they defend so well here at home. Foes are only scoring 59 points a game here. And as we talked about at the top of the show, I expected Gosser to be on Petaway. That's exactly what you see in the far corner of the floor. Gosser, his job is to keep Petaway in front of him. And this is not going to maybe make some sense off the top, but turn him into a playmaker rather than a play finisher. Make Petaway give the ball up and not complete at the rim. Shields has got to go to work. Two on the shot clock, and Shields with the bucket, Nebraska, the early lead. Nice offensive patience by Nebraska. We kind of thought they may be a little bit too hyped up, but they milked a lot of the shot clock, didn't force anything, and forced Wisconsin to defend all the defensive real estate on that end. How important is Siobhan Shields early for Nebraska? Especially getting to the basket and developing some confidence. Shields there trying to get the steal, but now the open play is Gosser, and he rains down the three. There are all five starters on the floor. Every one of those guys in a Badger jersey shoots over 30 percent from three and how about the recognition by wisconsin when shields laid out for that ball they understood they had numbers no one was able to close out on goster he makes you pay over 40 percent of the time from deep head away working against goster this will be a great matchup all night long as Petaway drives it off the window and if you're Gosser, you want to force Petaway to help and force him to become a passer. That has not been an area of strength for Petaway. His assist to turnover ratio in the negative category, so you want to make him give the ball up. Trayvon Jackson. Now Ben Brust, and in the corner, it's Decker. Kaminsky inside. First miss, the rebound, Ty Webster. Good job by Pitcher of forcing Kaminsky to shoot. They did not have to, have to run the double team at Kaminsky there. Pitchford with a three. The tongue out already. Nebraska hyped up with a 7-3 lead. It's early, Mr. Pitchford. You might want to put that tongue away. <laughs> Going up against Frank Kaminsky, who's averaging over 16 points a game in his last seven. He can do a lot of damage. Good help by Shields to force Kaminsky to give it up. Jackson will back it out. Wisconsin's not afraid to be patient with the offense. It is loud in here. Kaminsky trying to quiet it. Nebraska defensively gets the steal. Shields with the play. In transition. Talented freshman Nigel Hayes on the floor for Wisconsin. He's got the ball over to Trayvon Jackson. Here's Kaminsky one-on-one -on -one against Pitchford. Shields coming over to help. And he's helped again by Shields. Ross beating Kaminsky. Kaminsky one-on-one -on -one over Pitchford. No help came that time. Beautiful job by Kaminsky of sensing the double team wasn't forthcoming, and I like the repost, pounding it right back inside. You saw Pitchford relax a little bit after Kaminsky gave it up initially. Shields hands it off to Petaway. Petaway over Kaminsky. Couldn't get it to roll home and brush the rebound. And you saw Gosser on the switch force him into the shot blocker, Kaminsky there. Hayes, he'll take that jumper. Got the range from there. Kaminsky, the offensive board, and now Wisconsin with a new shot clock to work with. Ben Brust. Now with Kaminsky, matched up against Shields. Well, Shields has just been fantastic defensively. Hayes, banging his way into Shields. A whistle, and the foul is going to go on Siobhan Shields. Nigel Hayes will shoot a couple. 61% at the line for Hayes for a team. And the reason I say that, you look at his rotation, you look at the release, and more importantly, Kevin, you look at his field goal percentage. He's 52%, and all of those do not come at the rim. He has a nice mid-range jump shot. That free throw percentage, once it gets in the 70s, that will be worth at least another couple points per ball game for him. Benny Parker over to Gallegos. Gallegos with Jackson trailing. Here's Shields. Spinning on Kaminsky and out of bounds. Wanted a foul. It'll stay with Nebraska in the corner. Gallegos for three. Good start for Ray Gallegos. They need him to get going. And how about the call out of the dead ball situation to get Gallegos going? Excellent execution on the out of bounds play. Now, Leslie Smith is in giving a different defensive presence on Kaminsky. It's going to be really important for him, Kevin, to maintain 
being on the floor. He goes for a lot of shot fakes. If you're Kaminsky, show the ball to Smith because more times than not, he will bite. Bronson Koenig, the freshman, going to work. Tend to shoot for Hayes. Hayes going into Shields. Got the contact and the bucket to fall. He'll go to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Fast. They get ahead of themselves, and that's an excellent call because Shields, even though he finished with his hands straight up, he didn't maintain verticality. His hands came down. Hayes never took his eye off the target, meaning the rim, and played through contact. The future for this young man is exceedingly bright. He is absolutely true. He leads all Big Ten non-starters in scoring in league play. He's our Motel 6 sixth man. 9.6 points per game in conference as Petaway grabs the rebound off the Hayes missed free throw. That does not diminish at all what he's done this year. He's gotten better and better. There's been no freshman wall. And a week ago versus Penn State, just got an excellent job of getting his teammates involved early with four first-half assists. Parker has to back it out. Good defensive recovery by Koenig. Taran Petaway at the free throw line. Wild shot and give Decker some credit. Change that shot. And Gosser twice has forced. First he forced Petaway to Kaminsky. There he forced him into the taller Decker. Forcing him, meaning Petaway, to shoot over a big target. Petaway two for four to start tonight. He's got five. Nebraska's lead is five as Hayes goes back to work against Smith. <laughs> right by him and Nigel Hayes flexing his muscle early. And that is excellent recognition by Wisconsin. There's no way that Leslie Smith is going to stay with Nigel Hayes on the perimeter. They saw that. They got him the ball. They cleared it out. How about the trust they're placing in the freshman here on the road? He settled things down for this Badger squad. Just a three-point game. Parker with the pull-up. Benny Parker unable to hit and haze the rebound. And a lot of quick shots the last two or three times down the floor by Nebraska playing in to Wisconsin's hands. Decker with Bruss now running the point. Trayvon Jackson getting a breather right now. Nigel Hayes again. Good help. Excellent help forcing Hayes to give it up. 12 on the shot clock. Sam Decker against David Rivers. And Gallegos blew to Brust over here on the near side of the floor. And then a foul is called with four on the shot clock. The hand check. It's win number 700 in his career. Multiple national championships at Wisconsin Platteville. Had a two-year stint at Milwaukee before taking the head job in Madison. Brust in the corner to Koenig. Koenig with 15 to shoot. Now they have a mismatch with Jackson down on the block with Parker. Ross able to split the defenders, got the shot back, and then hit the bucket. And looked off the defender. They thought he was going to kick it into the corner to Jackson, but he saw that, recognized it, went right into his shot. We knew Wisconsin was not going anywhere. Shields down the baseline, and a foul is going to be... Now watch the court savvy right there. He looks off the defender. That little ball fake got Rivers to bite. He thought he was going to kick it into the corner to Jackson. As a result, he turned his head. Breast sensed that. Went right into a shooting motion. Excellent job by the senior. And Rivers fouled. Back-to-back -back fouls. That's rare to see from Wisconsin. This is the team that leads the nation in fewest fouls. They do not beat themselves in games. They don't turn the ball over. They don't send you to the foul line. And to your point, Kevin, They've only had two foul outs, meaning two disqualifications all year, both of those by Gossett. And Shields on the drive to the rim. Caught the rim and got the two. Shields aggressive so far. Four points in the early going for Nebraska. And Rivers and Parker have been such a lift off the bench defensively during this nice run by Nebraska. Jackson trying to back down the smaller Parker. A good look cross court. Rust. Oh, he's so good in the corner. Hits the three. And we are all knotted at 15. Excellent court awareness and not panicking by Trayvon Jackson. He saw the double team coming. He maintained his court vision and awareness and found Rust in the corner. Shields around the screen. One-handed flush. Points in the paint. We talked about it at the top. That has been an area of concern for Wisconsin. When they hit that little bit of a skid at the beginning of the conference season, it was points in the paint, which really hurt them on the defensive end. Rust. There's Jackson now. They'll back it out with 18 on the shot clock. Look at Parker. I mean, he, he is disruptive.
there, go to a Buffalo Wild Wings or something and just have a great time because you're going to see tremendous basketball and the city of Indianapolis does a wonderful job hosting that event. How about that defense by Kaminsky against Shields. Forced that shot to go away. Then the turnover picked up by a Gallegos numbers. Here comes Pitchford in transition with a flush. And a really good job by Nebraska of sensing that they had the numbers and Gallegos dribbled and he slowed up just enough to allow Pitchford to run that left lane. Really good job by Gallegos in the open floor, Kevin. Gosser against Shields. Jackson trying to enter it in the post. Tough pass. Decker had to come out and get it. They got to help him because he killed his dribble. Kaminsky now a 10 to shoot. Jackson going baseline past Webster. The pull-up won't go down. Rebound tipped up, and Pitchford's got it. And Decker had a chance to get it, but he went after it with one hand instead of two. Rivers poked it loose as a result. Siobhan Shields and a screen is going to be called illegal against David Rivers and the turnover back to Wisconsin. There's Taran Petaway on the bench with two of those four. Kaminsky, open three. A little bit strong, and Pitchford able to grab it. And Pitchford very fortunate because he died on the screen there. A wide open three by Kaminsky. He'll hit that over 40% of the time. Webster driving against Kaminsky. Comes up short. He's been scoreless in six of his last eight games. Rie Dukin off the bench. Nice pass from Jackson to Kaminsky, and the foul on Webster, his first, and Kaminsky to the line. Really good two-man game between Jackson and Kaminsky. Jackson turns the corner. He's a left-handed player, but he shows you his versatility, Kevin. Able to get in the lane with the right hand, and then that's an excellent delivery of the bounce pass because the big fella didn't have to go down too low, and he was able to catch it, go up with momentum, leading him toward the rim. Kaminsky good on the first, Kaminsky 80% at the line shoot. Decision making, the ability to do things, not just going to his left, but also to his right. And his assist turnover ratio has really improved. Averaging four assists per ball game. Let's not go crazy. <laughs> All right, probably doesn't own any Badger gear. That would be odd. Gallegos around that Pitchford screen. Can't connect in the rebound, Gusser. I didn't like the way Gallegos was kind of fighting his feet when he went into his shot. You know, his body really wasn't squared, and he faded to the left. Kaminsky, nice dish, and cutting to the basket is Duye Dukin. That's what makes him such a difficult matchup, because Kaminsky is an underrated passer. He drew so much attention and put it right where Dukin could do something with it. And for Kaminsky, that's his 39th assist of the year. Seven-footer, able to dish a little bit. In the corner... Nowhere for Ty Webster to go with it. They need to reverse the basketball. It's been on this side of the floor that entire time. That's not a good possession for Nebraska. When they've been most effective, Kevin, they've reversed the ball and forced Wisconsin to rotate defensively. Huskers won for their last five as Wisconsin takes the lead. Duye Dukin with the three and the Badgers by two in a timeout, Nebraska. And over Wisconsin would certainly bolster the resume, but the Nebraska lead once seven is now gone and the Badgers up by 221-19, and Taran Petaway playing with two fouls back off the bench. They need his scoring. Petaway inside against Kaminsky, able to tie it up. That's why he's back on the floor. That is a tough shot. I mean, if you're Wisconsin, there's not a whole lot more you can do defensively. Gosser forced him again to the shot blocker, Kaminsky, and Petaway just able to manufacture a shot. Then Miles rolling the dice a little bit with Petaway here. Dukin with that three a moment ago. Russ with 18 to shoot. Nice help right there by Petaway. Trayvon Jackson feeds Kaminsky. Working against Pitchford. And a rebound by Pitchford. Pretty good defense by Walter Pitchford. Really good job by Pitchford there. Shields against Dukin. Here comes the pick and pop. Shields driving right at Kaminsky. And Nebraska back in front. And I think Wisconsin was anticipating that. And Shields with the little hesitation dribble able to get by the defender. Nice recognition by Shields. Eight for Siobhan Shields in this first half. Nebraska by two. Gallegos really working hard defensively on Brush. Gosser rains the three <laughs> right in the eye. Up to Rand Petaway. One point lead for the Badgers. Talk about a team that does not panic. Huge crowd, great atmosphere, down seven. No big deal. Petaway inside is fouled. Nebraska men down one. Petaway, the three. A little bit strong, brush the rebound. Good job by Gosser of getting a hand up and contesting that offering from Petaway. 
Wisconsin with the one-point advantage. Bronson Koenig harassed by Benny Parker. Gosser working against Petaway. Petaway playing with those two fouls. 16 to shoot for Koenig. Rust shoots the three over Gallegos in and out. And the rebound tipped out to Duye Dukin. How about the play by Koenig there to keep it alive? Excellent job by the freshman. Rust. Pull up jumper, no good, and the rebound knocked out of bounds. Smith and Shields collide, and a lost opportunity for Nebraska. And then Nebraska trying to get the rebound. Two Huskers knock it out of bounds, and so a third chance, and that's the last thing you want to give a team like Wisconsin, extra opportunities. Hayes has been so good early. Got Smith in the air, went down the baseline, but he took an extra step, and the turnover back to Nebraska. And a pretty good job by Leslie Smith. He knew that he was being isolated there on the far side of the floor. You saw him initially. It looked like he might go for that initial up and under fake, but he maintained his feet. As a result, Hayes shuffled his. Duran Petaway over to Benny Parker. Shields has had the hot hand early. He'll go to work once more. Shields, they'll wave off the basket. The foul first, but Siobhan Shields has been the aggressor offensively tonight. Shields inbounds to Smith after the foul on Duke in his second. Wisconsin's been whistled for five fouls, as has Nebraska. Here's Shields again. Contact from Hayes. The shot no good. Rebound tipped out to the side, and it'll be out of bounds. A jump ball, and the tie-up is going to give it to Wisconsin. Hayes turnover back to Nebraska that's a rare high turnover number five in this first half of Wisconsin and Hayes just gets up in the air with really nowhere to go with it a rare mistake by the freshman this is a team that leads the nation fewest turnovers eight per game five in this first half and if there is an area of concern it's true with most freshmen his assist turnover ratio is negative I'll all know not demonstrably so Shields on the drive again. Shields with the layup, and Nebraska leads. And Siobhan Shields with 10 first half points. Well, look at Parker. Man, nowhere to go against Benny Parker. He's been a spark plug defensively in the last month for Nebraska. Decker, 15 to shoot for Gosser. Gosser inside, out to Brust, and Brust rains it down. Wisconsin so good in the half court. Really good job by Gosser of playing through the attempted rip at the ball. He was able to play through a little bit of contact, and then you saw the extra slide over by Brust, which would give Gosser a better passing angle. Duran Petaway against Kaminsky. Banks it home, Nebraska and Wisconsin are tied again. And points in the paint, a huge advantage for Nebraska. That's where they're getting their bread and butter right now, Kevin. Dribble drive and getting in the lane for conversion. Nearly a steal. Kaminsky with a good hands. Now the scramble. Decker. Ooh, what a two-handed stub. Oh, did he elevate quickly? Woo. How about the delivery as well from Kaminsky on the scramble situation? If he takes one extra dribble, chances are he draws a charge, but he saw Decker making himself available. Good job by the two bigs. Like a young Sean Morris running the floor. I pulled a hip just watching that. Forget <laughs> it. Shields enter into the post. Smith diving for it to keep it alive, and everybody's going to take a break. The tie-up keeps it with Nebraska. 12 on the shot clock for Nebraska. Gallegos with seven to shoot. Petaway's got to go to work. Long three. A little bit strong and good defense by Wisconsin. Good defense and poor execution by Nebraska. Again, Kevin, they didn't attack off the dribble drive, which has been so effective, and they didn't reverse the basketball. When they've done those two things, nine times out of ten, they've been able to get a pretty good shot. Decker against Rivers. Wisconsin shooting 58% in his first half. On the drive, knocked away by Petaway, kicked into the corner, and Koenig and Brust keep it alive. Brust, back it goes to Koenig, four to shoot. Kaminsky in the corner, Brust with two to shoot. And the three, no good. Kaminsky, though, with the tip out. Really good job by Kaminsky. Now, if you're Wisconsin, you force Nebraska to exert a lot of energy. Don't take a quick shot. Really grind it out here and force Nebraska to defend for a fresh 35. Koenig against Parker. 
Nowhere to go. Had to get rid of it. Just got rid of it. 15 to shoot. Gosser again. The three guarded and way off the mark. The rebound tip to Parker. Nice defensive sequence by Nebraska, especially on that second thrust. Parker going coast to coast. And the ball knocked out of bounds by Bronson Koenig. Siobhan Shields back on the floor. See if that gets the dribble penetration going again for Nebraska. Pitchford, the fadeaway, and Pitchford ties it up. Wisconsin took a gamble there, went for the steal. Pitchford, really good job of maintaining his composure and not dribbling into pressure, knocking down that mid-range jump shot from the short corner. Coming up on our State Farm halftime report. Looking back at a very busy day and a very eventful day in the Big Ten. And looking ahead to next week in Indianapolis. Coming up on the State Farm Halftime Report. Koenig with 10 to shoot. Kaminsky with the screen. Oh, nice pass back to Kaminsky. Extra pass down the baseline. Gosser and Parker with the foul. Excellent spacing by Wisconsin and the extra pass. The ball didn't hit the floor. Once you saw the kick out... First foul on Parker, sixth on Nebraska as a team, and second in the league in free throw percentage. Hits the first. Fourth all time at Wisconsin career, so not a surprise to see two for two. I think that young man, Josh Gosser, may be the most important player for Wisconsin heading into the Big Ten tournament as well as the NCAA tournament, and not just because of his ability to shoot the three ball, but because of his prowess as a defensive stopper. Shields. Not able to connect, and Wisconsin the other way. They wanted a walk, not a walk. As long as part of your foot, in that case his toe, maintains contact with the floor, it's not a walk. Decker. Inside, back out to Brust. 18 to shoot. Gosser against Parker. They better watch Gosser with the clear out. And there's a two-handed stuff by Sam Decker. Tim Miles is very unhappy that that clear out didn't get called. Yeah, I think Wisconsin caught a little bit of a break there because Benny Parker looked to be in pretty good position and Goss were trying to clear some space. Our State Farm halftime report coming very quickly as Siobhan Shields knifing and going left to right gets the two. Thus far in the first half, that sort of sequence has been there just about any time that Shields has been in the ball game and Nebraska wanted to exploit it. 18 points in the paint for Nebraska. Turnover for Wisconsin. Four, and the vast majority of those have come off dribble drives. Look at Benny Parker going to work against Bronson Koenig. I said it before, I'll say it again, Kevin. Benny has some jets. I liked it. I gave you the smile. Right. Kaminsky. Gosser against Shields. About a two and a half second differential between shot clock and game clock. Kaminsky on the drive right at the rim. Tip drive by Kaminsky up and in. Nebraska's got to hurry. Seven seconds. And now they're going to stop this clock as the ball got away. And Pitchford didn't close out under control on Kaminsky. He knew that Kaminsky has the ability to knock down that three. He doesn't close out under control. Kaminsky showed you his ability to get to the rim. Parker driving to the rim. Looking for the contact. Didn't get it. And halftime is here. Looking for the answer in the second half against the ninth-ranked Badgers. Frank Kaminsky. Working against Pitchford. Jackson open and swishes the three. Really good job by Kaminsky of waiting for the double team to come. Kind of like a blitz in football. He saw where the blitz was coming from. That means the guy from where the blitz is coming is open. In that case, it was Jackson. Gallegos. Moran Petaway around the Pitchford screen. Back to Shields. But they're going to switch back. Really good job by Wisconsin there. Webster. Off the mark, Kaminsky the rebound. Big couple of early minutes in the second half. The place was rocking to start the game. Nebraska came out on fire. Not going to match that here. Kaminsky taking advantage on the drive, and Wisconsin has opened up a seven-point lead, their largest tonight. About the agility shown there by Kaminsky to avoid the charge, that little two-foot jump stop, avoiding the contact with Petaway. If I'm Nebraska right now, I'm getting something off the dribble going to the rim. I'm, I'm going to make sure that Shields touches it and has a chance to attack off the dribble. Pitchford launches the three, and one and done again. Decker with the rebound. Oh, dangerous moment here for the home team. Wisconsin flexing its muscle early to start the second half. Kaminsky. He can shoot out there. Pitchford 
trying to keep him in front. Here's Jackson, goes right past Webster, cannot connect. Jackson able to get it off the tip from Decker, tipped out to Kaminsky. He'll shoot the long jumper, and the rebound to Shields. Now, if you're Nebraska now, you want to get something going toward the basket. Shields on the drive, right at the hoop, gets the bucket, and the foul. Shields completing the three-point play. He's got 15. That's a big three-point play for Nebraska as Wisconsin was stretching that lead. Four-point game. Crowd trying to get back into it. Nearly 16,000 on hand. Good job by Shields of beating Decker to a spot, but a better interior feed by Gosser and a breakdown out top because they didn't pressure the ball. That allowed Gosser to look over the top and find Decker. It's such a lost art. The entry pass into the post like that. That was a beautiful feed. Good use of putting just enough loft underneath it as well as understanding angle. And Pitchford drawing the foul on the way up against Kaminsky. And Kaminsky can't believe it. That's his second personal foul. And Pitchford. A little strong for Pitchford. A 70% free throw percentage. Tim Miles tweets at halftime. His tweet, we have to get defensive stops and get to their shooters. we got to find a way to win. So far, three for five. Wisconsin in the second half from the floor. 55% from the floor for the game. One for two is Pitchford and a five-point Badger lead. And now with Pitchford guarding Hayes, let's see if they try to isolate Hayes on one side of the floor and pull Pitchford away from the rim. Bo Ryan does not tweet at halftime, or we would read his tweet as well. A foul is called as Jackson drives. And Trayvon Jackson picking up the foul on Pitchford. Now, if you are Nebraska, do not lose sight of the trigger man, Gosser, here. You can't fall asleep on the inbound. Rust working against Gallegos. Gosser. Here's Hayes. He had a good early first half. Gosser has to back it out to Jackson. A good work between Shields and Decker down low. That was a battle. Ball knocked away by Pitchford. Good team defense. You saw all the white jerseys move, with, whether it was on the pass or there on the dribble drive. There's Gallegos. Duran Petaway around the Pitchford screen. Petaway into Hayes. Wild shot and a foul. Boy, do you think that they've got the message that attacking off the dribble is what Coach Tim Miles wants? Gets two here. 82%, not too bad. And our All-State Insurance Mayhem Index. And Paul Ryan's had a knack for creating mayhem throughout his career, but in this one, the longest conference winning streak since 1941. They've won eight in a row overall, five straight on the road. And what this Wisconsin team has done after that mid-season lull has been remarkable, and they're in position to be talking about a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Well, you take a look at their resume, it is certainly impressive, and the reason you're able to go on the road and be successful is that they don't do anything to help the opponents beat them. They take care of the basketball, they don't send the opponent to the foul line, and if you beat Wisconsin, they're not going to do anything to help you. Great work by Trayvon Jackson, but the miss inside by Sam Decker, and Decker, three for six from the floor. Gallegos with the Huskers down by three. Pitchford, thought about that one, turned it down. Nebraska shooting 52%, but just one for three here in the second half. Petaway on the drive to the rim, and Nebraska with it one. You've said it all night, Sean, take it to the rim. And when Nebraska does, they found success. Until they stop it, meaning Wisconsin, you have to continue to do that. And don't fall in love with jump shots. Trayvon Jackson against Benny Parker. Parker knocking it out of bounds off the leg of Jackson, and it'll belong to the Big Red. Do enough for Nebraska, or does it have to be the win? I think they need a win, to be completely honest with you. And then if they're able to get another one in the tournament, you don't want to have a quote-unquote bad loss in the tournament to negate a lot of the momentum you would get with the win here today. Trayvon Jackson on the drive, and the foul is going to be called. Benny Parker trying to get in front of Jackson, but Jackson saw him backpedaling, Sean, and went right at him. Jackson will bounce it to Hayes against Pitchford. And a foul is going to be called on Pitchford. That'll be his second and the team's third to kind of 
disrupt the vision of the official there. Oh, nice little screen to get Brust free. Hayes set the screen, Brust with the curl, and Badgers by three. And that was not an easy pass to deliver. He had to kind of throw it over the shoulder so Brust could catch it and go right to the rim. See if Nebraska goes back to the rim after settling for that Petaway jumper a moment ago. Here's Petaway. Pitchford, and now Benny Parker. 15 to shoot. Shields on the drive against Dukin. The pull-up is good for Shavon Shields, who's got 17. You can't argue about the effort there by Dukin. He stopped the path to the rim by Shields, but Shields just made a better shot. Good defense, better offense. One-point game again in Lincoln. Dukin, the open three. And the rebound, Petaway able to pluck it out of the air. Maybe a little bit of a quick shot if you're Wisconsin right there. You can get that a little bit later in the shot clock. Nebraska had a little bit of momentum. You want to force them to exert some energy defensively. Huskers haven't led since the 532 mark in the first half. Chance to lead with a bucket here. Petaway on the drive against Hayes. Lost it. Taken away. Good defense by the freshman. Jackson. The bounce ahead to Duke and through traffic. Gets the roll. And he'll go to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Dukin has not had a lot of opportunities. That's only his 10th free throw of the year. He's made eight, missed two. And that free throw came out of his hand very awkwardly. Usually has pretty good backspin, but there it looked like he kind of turned his wrist. A little bit of a knuckleball action. Pitchford sits down after picking up his third foul. Leslie Smith in for Nebraska. And now with Smith in there, let's see the next time down the floor if the Badgers really try to isolate Hayes with Smith guarding him. Well, Shields saw Hayes turn his head, and he went right at the freshman, and the foul on Nigel Hayes. Several games, but only seven points and five boards tonight. Three for eight shooting, and really Pitchford has done a very nice job on Kaminsky for most of the night. But it doesn't tell the full story for Kaminsky. Offensively, his numbers are a little bit off beat, but take a look. Two assists and three blocks for the big fell. How about the night Siobhan Shields is having? 18 so far for Shields. Make it 19. That's a home roll at a one-point game. And seeing the first free throw go down, so important for Siobhan Shields. A couple of weeks ago, he was 15 of 15 from the line versus Illinois. 33 points in that game. That's a high for Siobhan Shields. And then the tie-up, Benny Parker rips it away. Nebraska gets the basketball back. And that's what Benny oh. Parker has done over the last month for Nebraska. He took that big charge against Northwestern with 29 seconds left in the last game here that sealed the win for the Huskers. Wisconsin minus eight in the turnover margin tonight as Shields gives the Huskers the lead for the first time since 5.32 remaining in the first half. That was almost Goose Gibbons-like from the 78 championship game. That thing almost came close to banking in. If you had Goose's name in the pool tonight, congratulations. Gosser to Brust. Now Kaminsky against Smith. Kaminsky turning against Smith, and Smith able to get it out of there. Offensive rebound and out of bounds to Nebraska. And the Huskers getting fired up a little bit now. Benny Parker with the Huskers up by one. Shields against Dukin. Well, fadeaway pull up. He's starting to feel it, but that's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, you, you've gotten so much. Kevin going toward the basket. Maintain that until Wisconsin stops it. Keep riding it. Kaminsky raining oh. down the three. Big answer for Wisconsin. They're back up by two. And I tell you what, Leslie Smith dropped his head because he knew that he didn't fulfill his defensive responsibility in terms of getting out hands high on the three-point shooter, Kaminsky. Wisconsin has calmly answered every Nebraska surge tonight. Done it again. Back up by two. Head away around the Smith screen, driving right at Kaminsky, and there's a foul. That's a big one on Kaminsky. It's number three. And he misses that one. Petaway, Shields, and Pitchford have all but five of Nebraska's points in this one. Maybe have Frank teamed down a little bit. Constructive instruction from Jim Burr and Bo Ryan. Is that a teachable moment, Kevin? I'm not sure. Decker. With the Badgers up by one. Duye Dukin provided some good minutes tonight off the bench for Wisconsin. Now Decker against David Rivers. Decker Rivers moving his feet. A little help from Leslie Smith as well. Ten to shoot. Decker on the drive. Dishes it out. Brust with five to shoot. 
Brust in some trouble. The leaner off the rim and Parker the rebound. Wonderful defensive sequence. Again, keyed by Parker and Rivers. Gallegos. The pull up at the elbow. In and out. And the rebound to Gosser. If I was Wisconsin here, I'm going to put the ball in Nigel Hayes' hands and see if he can go to work on Leslie Smith. Here's Hayes against Smith. Right down the baseline, drew the contact and the foul. Sean Morris. Threes, Nebraska with three, and Hayes at the line hits the first after the foul on Smith before the break. The other reason that this game is so close is really the fact that Wisconsin second in the conference in turnover margin turning it over nine times thus far in the ball game versus only one for the home standing Cornhuskers. Two point ball game. Turan Petaway with 14 points tonight. Around the river screen. Now Smith with the screen. The bounce to Smith but a little bit too much mustard on that one and it went out of bounds. Gosser was looking for Decker who was cutting baseline right to left. Now Decker spinning at the top against Shields. The floater out of bounds. It'll belong to Nebraska of the season for Vito Brown on the fifth in conference. And he draws a tough defensive assignment. He's guarding Siobhan Shields right now at the top part of the right there. That's what Tim Miles wanted. He was telling yep. his team get the ball to Shields and let him go to work. 17 to shoot. Petaway going to work against Hayes. High off the glass. That won't go. And the rebound inside pulled down by Vito Brown. How about the strong rebound by Vito Brown in traffic there. Nice job by the freshman. Fresh legs to get that board. It's warm in here. Yeah, there's fresh legs. It is very warm in here. I'm tired. I haven't moved from this chair. I still have my wife tired, so I'm used to it. Duke working inside, but he couldn't get it against Parker. The ball knocked out of bounds off of Hayes. To get the high ball screen. Shields on the attack. Lost it out of bounds, and it'll go back to Wisconsin. Crowd doesn't like it. Tim Miles says get back on defense. This crowd has been unbelievable. They haven't sat down the whole time. No, it's no sit Sunday. I'm glad you had great pronunciation there. That was, that was very key. key. You noticed the enunciation yes. and the pronunciation. Yes. Brust to Gosser. Gosser against Benny Parker. Gosser spinning baseline. Can't get the roll. Offensive rebound, and Gosser is fouled. Siobhan Shields, second personal foul, sixth on Nebraska this half, and Gosser three for three tonight. Free throw percentage, as you mentioned, at 87%. The only person to top him in the standings is teammate Ben Brust at 88%. And guys, you don't want to see in a close game at the line to ice it, because they usually do. Four-point lead for the Badgers, 9.05 to go in what has been a wholly entertaining game here tonight. Shields. Has to back it out now with 20 on the shot clock. Shields on the drive in traffic. Rebound knocked out and scooped up by Dukin. He cradled that like a newborn babe. And now up the other way, Gosser. Ben brushed over to Vito Brown. Entry pass to Hayes, going to work against Pitchford, and the foul is called on Pitchford, and two free throws coming. You have a four-point lead, and your entire starting front line, essentially. So Pitchford sits down, Smith back in for Nebraska. Four fouls, both free throws missed by Nigel Hayes, and a missed opportunity for Wisconsin to stretch the lead. Nebraska. Looking to execute here. They've struggled of late. Petaway bouncing to Shields, driving it up. Can't get the roll. Oscars have been whistled for seven fouls. Wisconsin, six. And Shields, good on the first. At the under-eight media timeout, that will probably be when Coach Bo Ryan goes back to Kaminsky for the stretch run as he's had to kind of hold him out here with his three person. Trayvon Jackson back out there on the floor. On Ben Brust. Vito Brown against Leslie Smith. 20 to shoot for Jackson, who turns it over. Head away. Up top, Gallegos. He'll launch the three for the lead. <laughs> Only his second bucket of the night. But what timing? 
Decker. Brown still on the floor. No Kaminsky yet. Tim Miles wants his team to play a little defense. Jackson with 17 to shoot. Dukin. Now Decker, the step back. And the rebound tipped up by Dukin and swatted out by Petaway. Shields to the other end. Two-handed stop. And Nebraska by three. How about the play by Petaway? The presence of mind, Kevin, even though he wasn't able to get two hands on it, of Brust and Gosser, which was such a big story, they have not even had the opportunity to attempt a three-point shot here in the second stanza. Kaminsky back in. Working against Leslie Smith. Jackson with Parker right inside his jersey. 15 to shoot. Smith comes out to show, and a foul is called on Leslie Smith, his second. And that'll send Jackson to the line for the one-and-one. One. Usually very reliable from the line, 76% on the year. Shields with 25 points tonight to pace the Huskers. Angus wanted a three, couldn't get a good grip on that ball. 16 to shoot for Petaway. Petaway the pull up. A little off balance on that shot, the rebound to Decker. And he got caught in no man's land between whether to try to swish it or use the window. Down the baseline, Kaminsky is fouled. One for two tonight. Now one for three. One for two for Kaminsky. And remember, this was a team that last year was a 63% free throw shooting team. Siobhan Shields to work. Driving at Kaminsky. Good defense by the big man. Shields will stay with it. Try to wriggle his way to the basket. Pitchford for three. How about Shields maintaining his composure? He was completely locked against the baseline. But Pitchford slid to that far corner, which gave him an outlet. Crowd going nuts in Lincoln again. Five-point lead for the Huskers. On the drive. Tough shot, no good. Head away for Nebraska. And Decker lost that on the way up. He never caught it cleanly off his last dribble. He'd never had control going into a shooting mode. Head away to the basket. And Nebraska matches its largest lead at seven. Timeout, Wisconsin. Now Wisconsin, who's had an answer all night long. They'll need another one here from this experienced squad. Kaminsky has provided a lot of answers this year. Here's Jackson on the drive. Great pass to Hayes, and Hayes for two. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful penetration and the dish by Trayvon Jackson. Let me tell you something. Wisconsin's going nowhere. They are not leaving. They're like that pesky holiday relative who, December 26th, you want to leave, but they hang around until, like, February. Glad I don't live in your house. Crowd has gotten quiet all of a sudden. All the offense goes to work. Again, look at how they're spreading the floor, Kevin. They're spreading out, trying to create driving angles. Oh, Shields got around. Jackson misses the layup, and Kaminsky the rebound. Now, Wisconsin may want to push it. They've got numbers. Jackson will try to push. No attack. He's two-handed stuff, and the Badgers right back within three. How about the response by Trayvon Jackson the last two times down the floor, Kevin? Kind of a subpar performance, and particularly in terms of turnovers by Jackson, but here down the stretch, he's been wonderful. Head away, nowhere to go. Kaminsky blocked his road. Gallegos, the bounce to Shields. Parker, the two. Rattles home. Benny Parker picks his spots to score. He's got four. How about the guts by Benny Parker to catch and release on that jump shot? Jackson trying to take this one over for Wisconsin. Now, if you're Kaminsky, you have to understand Pittsburgh has four and take advantage. Make him defend you off the dribble. Jackson with a little head and shoulder fake gets it out to Brust, launching the three. That's off. And the rebound, Petaway able to take it away and save it to Gallegos. Gallegos with six points in this one. Now Petaway in the Petaway Shields show. They've got a combined 41 points. Petaway to work again. Here's Pitchford for three. Oh, my goodness! Huge three for Pitchford. Nebraska's got its largest lead of the night. Jackson with the answer. Won't go. Pitchford with the board. Jackson thought he was fouled. 
Now, if you're Nebraska, with this eight-point lead, trying to play their way into a bye and maybe into the NCAA tournament. The ball knocked out of bounds by Wisconsin. And a timeout on the floor. And decisively so over a very sure-handed Wisconsin team. 16 to 2 points off turnovers in favor of Nebraska. They've taken advantage of those 10 turnovers that they've gotten and turned them into points. Here's Gallegos with 12 to shoot to Shields. Petaway with 10 on the shot clock. Petaway against Kaminsky. Drives it up. Tip up and in. And the first double-digit lead of the night belongs to Nebraska. Jackson bounces it all away. Shields trying to save it. And Petaway saves it. It stays in bounds. Kaminsky, the three to quiet the crowd for Wisconsin. And a timeout taken by the Badgers. Holy cow, what an answer for Wisconsin. Coming up after this one, the journey senior night special here on BTN. Petaway in the corner and a turnover. Jackson back to Kaminsky. Petaway out, then he left him, and Kaminsky cannot connect the rebound. Shields ripping it away. You better watch out. Excellent back, excellent job by Shields of understanding. It is Nebraska on Thursday instead. Front end is good for Siobhan Shields. What a night he's had. Six of six at the line. Saw him here earlier in the conference slate. Dropped 33 on 15 of 15 shooting versus Illinois. 140 to go. Trayvon Jackson fouled by Benny Parker and Parker with his third personal foul. 8-0 and in their last eight. Trying to rally on the road here. They've won five straight away from home and 75 road wins under Bo Ryan. That's the most in the Big Ten during that time. And a foul is called. Petaway fouled in the corner by Nigel Hayes. Between Gosser and Bruss thus far in the second 20 minutes. Petaway got the roll on the front end. And Nebraska, 11 of 14 tonight. Tim Miles, is he nervous? Is he cool as a cucumber? Somewhere between? Sean Morris, your thoughts? Maybe more of a radish. <laughs> a radish. I don't know if a radish is cool or not. Eight-point lead for Nebraska. Trayvon Jackson. Gosser against Parker to the rim can't hit but Hayes is there to clean it up for Wisconsin and that dribble drive was open because the Nebraska defender fell down into Gallegos Ray Gallegos got to get it going and remember it's on Ooh, great effort trying to break that one up and diving into that front row the Gosser's down underneath the basket Hayes dove into the crowd Gosser went after it as well. Everybody seems to be okay. The point I was going to make is that the 10-second count is no longer made by the official. They go by the shot clock, and it was closing in on 25. Pitchford harassed in the corner, and Kaminsky picks up his fourth personal foul, and that'll send Pitchford to the line for the one-and-one, one, the ninth team foul. One-and-one one for Pitchford. Oh, my goodness. That's called... The ultimate home rim bounce. Misses the second. Seven-point game, under a minute to go. Plenty of time for Wisconsin. Trayvon Jackson on the attack. Floats it high, and it hits off the shot clock out of bounds to Nebraska. And it's taken away. Hayes with the steal, but out of bounds. I'll protect you, Kevin. Thank you. I'm already under the table. Inbound to Petaway, and Petaway able to get free. Petaway. And a whistle and a foul is called. Trayvon Jackson. The only way it can be shown the right way by the Journey crew, and it's a great one coming up tonight, immediately following what has been a really entertaining game. Duran Petaway. Appears to be better tonight. Misses that second eight-point game. Still time. Gosser. 40 seconds to go. Kaminsky. Look who's Gardner. And the three over Parker, rebounded by Petaway, and a foul on Hayes. Benny Parker giving up more than a foot. Picked last in the conference this year. They're 34.8 seconds away from a fourth-place finish and a bye in the Big Ten tournament. Transfer from Florida, Siobhan Shields, a sophomore. When you're the, the bulk of your offensive 
firepower is in your sophomore class. This has the opportunity to be a program that will be in contention for many, many years to come, beating a team in Wisconsin that's playing better really than anyone in the conference right now, coming in with eight straight wins. And if you're able to get a win here, that speaks volumes about this Nebraska program. Shields gets it into Petaway, who's fouled with 25.3 seconds to go. When that looked like it was going to damage them long term, offensively not doing a whole lot in terms of statistical production, but David Rivers and Benny Parker, another big reason for Nebraska's surge here today. Rayvon Jackson out to Kaminsky. The three for Kaminsky rattles off. Rebound inside and a strong one by Gosser. He and Parker collide, and the foul's going to go on Benny Parker, and Gosser will get a pair of free throws. What a rebound. Not only do they have a chance to score, but they can do it with the clock stopped here. And then they can establish the pressure again, but a miss. Nebraska 16 seconds away from not having to think about Thursday. They wouldn't play till Friday. Into Petaway. Petaway fouled with 14 seconds to play. That Nebraska that may not have to play until Friday. I think the fans in Lincoln may be celebrating until late into Thursday. Unreal. They were lined up. This, this has just been a wonderful atmosphere. And Nebraska rewarding those fans with what may be a win. Jackson, the long three for Bruss, no good. Gallegos the rebound, and he's going to dribble it out. Nebraska knocks off the ninth-ranked Badgers, and the dancing begins early in Lincoln.